Microsoft has promoted Windows 11 as being more efficient and faster than its predecessor. For some people, that is not the case, with many complaints that their computer is now taking a longer amount of time to start up. So coming up, I'll show you several proven and tested ways to fix the slow boot times in Windows 11 to make it load faster. Let's get started. First, you'll want to check to see if your computer meets the minimum system requirements, including a one gigahertz or faster processor, at least four gigabytes of RAM, and 64 gigabytes of storage. Then there's the controversial TPM chip version two requirement, which we've talked about in other videos. Initially, Microsoft had said they were not going to offer upgrades to Windows 11 to those that don't meet the basic specs, but they have. As most of you know, sometimes what Microsoft says and what they actually do are two different things. Now for the first tip, if you have a lot of programs that load when you start up your computer, that could be a major reason why it boots up slowly. Disabling some of those programs you don't need at startup will help to speed up your boot time. Here's how to do it. Go to your taskbar, right click on the Windows Start button, and select Task Manager. When it opens, if you haven't done so already, select More Details. At the top, click the Startup tab. You'll see the names of the programs, their publishers, the Startup Enabled Disabled status, along with the Startup Impact. To disable a program at startup, left click to select it, and in the lower right, click on Disable. Do this for each program that you know you don't need at startup. If you're unsure what a program does, right click on it and select Search Online. This will bring up a search with additional information. A setting that can make your boot time quicker is Fast Startup. When shutting down, instead of shutting down your computer completely, it puts it into hibernation mode to make it boot faster. I used to recommend disabling it, but the bugs worked out, it's best to enable it now. In the taskbar, go to search and type control. Select control panel. In view by here in the upper right, select large icons, then select power options. In the left pane, Click on Choose What the Power Buttons Do. To enable Fast Startup, you'll need administrator permissions, so click on Change Settings That Are Currently Unavailable. Down here in Shutdown Settings, click the box next to Turn On Fast Startup. If you don't see this option, no worries. I'll show you in a moment how to make it appear. Enabling Turn On Fast Startup won't affect your boot time when you restart, but will make your PC load up faster after a shutdown. When you're done, here at the bottom, click Save Changes. For those of you that did not see the option to turn on Fast Startup, you will need to enable Hibernation. It's easy to do. In the taskbar, go to Search, type Command, then here on the right, under Command Prompt, select Run as Administrator. Now type the following command, the word Power, C as in Charlie, F as in Frank, G as in George, add a space, slash the word hibernate, add another space, and the word on. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Hibernation will now be enabled. To enable fast startup, just follow the steps already mentioned. Sometimes malware, such as a virus, trojan, spyware, or some other type of malware can cause your boot time to be slower and can also corrupt other parts of your system. We recommend periodically running a full system scan with your favorite antivirus or malware program. To use Microsoft Defender that's built into Windows 11, let's go to Search and type Windows Security. Select it. When it opens, click on Virus and Threat Protection. Quick Scan is what is shown. Don't use that. Select Scan Options. For the purpose of rooting out any malware on your system, we recommend that you run a full system scan to check all the files and programs on your drive. Select Full scan, then at the bottom, click on Scan Now. When you run this, it could take an hour or longer to complete. Over time, there could be system files that may have been damaged leading to corruption errors that could impact your boot time and make your PC slower. For this, we'll use the built-in file checker utility. This will scan and fix any corrupted files automatically. Let's go back to search. We'll be using the command prompt again. If you see it listed here in recent, Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. 
If not, as we did before, type command. Then under command prompt here on the right, select run as administrator. Type the following command as shown on the screen, dism.exe space slash online space slash cleanup dash image space slash restore health. Then hit enter on your keyboard. Once it gets to 100%, run the system file checker that will find and replace any corrupted files with the correct ones. That command is sfc space slash scan now. Then hit enter. I won't be doing this. It takes a while to finish, so grab yourself a few cervezas or drink of your choice and wait patiently while it completes. Graphics drivers that are poorly optimized or outdated can cause issues when booting up. It's a good idea to keep those updated. To update built-in integrated graphics drivers that share power between the GPU and CPU, right-click on the Start menu and select Device Manager. Double-click on Display Adapters to expand the category. There are two listed. On this computer, the Intel is integrated. We'll deal with the NVIDIA one later. Right-click on the graphics card you're using and select Update Driver. If you've downloaded the latest update from the manufacturer, select Browse by Computer for Drivers. Otherwise, select Search Automatically for Drivers. If you have a dedicated graphics card that is separate from your CPU with its own dedicated memory, open the corresponding software on your computer and install the driver updates from there. For the next couple of tips, we'll be using the Settings app. To open it, right-click on the Start menu and select Settings. An easier way of opening it is to use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. It's usually a good idea to keep Windows updated. These updates often include bug fixes and improvements to performance that could reduce the time your computer takes to start up. To update, select Windows Update in the left pane. You may see an update listed. If not, click Check for Updates. For optional updates that could help with boot times, go to Advanced Options, select Optional Updates, then driver updates. You might see manufacturer firmware updates listed along with updates for the other hardware on your system. Just select the ones you want to update and select download and install. If you want to give your PC a refresh to the way it was when you first got it with faster boot times and overall speeds while also keeping all your personal files on your drive, the factory reset might be what you want. In system, scroll down to recovery and select it. Before proceeding, make sure that you have all your personal files, like your pictures, documents, music files, etc., backed up in the slight chance that something goes wrong. When you're ready to move forward, select Reset PC. Selecting Keep My Files will keep all the personal files you have stored on the drive, but will remove all the settings, apps, and other programs that you have installed. The second option removes everything. From here, you're on your own. Just follow the prompts. Here's a quick bonus tip. While we try to give you free solutions, that's not always possible or will give you the best outcome. If your boot drive is a hard disk drive and you have the financial means, technical know-how, or know someone that does, it just might be time for you to upgrade to a solid state drive. Instead of minutes, you might see your PC start up in just seconds. While the price of everything seems to be going up, the cost of SSDs is the lowest I've seen in years. Thanks for watching. Hopefully one of these tips helped in making your computer boot up faster. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell notification icon to not miss out on our latest Windows 11 tips and other tech-related stuff right here on Tech Gumbo.